August is hot, and so are the savings at Appalachian Wireless, where all smartphones are 50% off. Even the 64, 128, and 256 gig models. Two-year agreement required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. The Litcher Fiscal Court voted unanimously this week to approve the establishment of a needle exchange program in the county. The court's action came following approval by the county's Board of Health, and now the program lacks only the approval of the Whitesburg City Council to go forward. We could possibly start the needle exchange late October. Um, and like I said, th this is great money if we don't use it, another county is going to use it. And if this needle exchange don't work in Letcher County, we've not lost anything. It's not costing the county anything. Letcher Sheriff's Deputy Eugene Sloan, who also serves as the chairman of the county's United Substance Abuse Prevention Program, which is hoping to establish the needle exchange program, said Letcher County's program will be tailored to meet the needs of the county. He said the program will be funded through federal grant funds and will help to get dirty needles off the street. Hopefully, by doing this, we can cut down on the spread of, of HIV and uh, hepatitis. Uh, we have a lot of needles out in the ditch lines uh, and laying around that kids can get, you know, you know, kids can step on. There's, there's so many benefits from a needle exchange. There's really nothing negative that I can think of. Sloan added that the program will also provide the anti-overdose drug Narcan to the county's first responders. The goal, he said, is to ultimately make Letcher County more safe. The drugs that's out there now are just not dangerous to the ones that's doing the drugs. It's also dangerous to your first responders. Uh, if they get that on their skin, it's over to your skin, they can overdose while trying to administer CPR or check vitals on someone out there that's overdosing. The Whitesburg City Council's next meeting is scheduled for September 12th. Sloan said he anticipates the needle exchange program will be presented to the City Council at that meeting. In Letcher County, Chris Anderson, EKB News.